What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we have something really cool. As you've heard me say, I've been wanting to get my bike ceramic coated. And I've got Anthony here from Anthony Auto Spa, LLC. LLC. That's in there. And uh, they were kind enough to come out here as part of their service and take care of my bikes here at my home. I, I don't have to go to them. I, I can't tell you how cool that is. Amazing service, thank you very much for yeah, that. you're welcome. So we're gonna get started here in a minute, or he is, I'm gonna watch, because I'm good at that. But we're gonna get started, and he's gonna do my 2023 Rocket 3 GT, red chrome edition, and my brand new, I know, 2023 Road Glide CVO. Yes, the cool one with all the new advancements that I got just a few days ago, that you guys saw from my other video. Yep. So we're excited about that. He has not worked on either one of those bikes, Nope. So he's excited. Yeah, very. And I let him ride the rocket down the street to experience the torquiness of this little monster. What'd you think of that? I didn't want to get off. <laughs> you gonna buy one? one? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy two, right? Yeah, I'll buy two. <laughs> Gotta buy two. That's cool. All right, so tell me a little bit about your company and what you guys do and what you're about and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so uh, I'm Anthony, Anthony Auto Spa. So I, fab I built this business straight out of high school. Nice. Um, I started. You know, I didn't want to know what learn to trade. I didn't want to join the military. I didn't want to do a bunch of work for somebody else. I wanted something to do I, I could do with my hands. And um, I lived next door to a car wash, basically like a car dealership. And then I started washing cars for like uh, being a porter for a service department. A little side extra summer money. Yeah, and stuff pretty, like that. well during school and summer, yeah pay for a car that yeah. I couldn't keep because of my grades. And yeah. uh, all of us for you younger crowd, we had to pay for our own stuff when we were younger. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and, it, and I didn't even get to keep it, so. Right? Um, yeah, but yeah part. we lived right next door to it, so it was literally just jump a bush to work, and so I was always on call, 16 years old, making like three grand a week, just washing, delivering cars. Nice. And then fell in love with it. I've always envied the detailers, because the detailers came in like these 67 Fastback Mustangs, and this one had a GTR and had a Skyline. I'm like, man, that's, All the cool so that's cars. where, that's where the money's at. It's yeah. not in mechanics. These guys are driving total buckets. Yeah. These guys are driving Fixed nice cars. Fixed repair and daily. Clean. Yeah. yeah, and they're clean. <laughs> they're nice. And I was like, so I want to learn. So I started just shadowing them, started learning how they do it. And then I kind of just, because of being around the environment, I kind of picked and choose what I wanted to do as far as my own business. And then, of course, going through 15 years of mistakes and learning from those mistakes and not going backwards, but going forwards. Um, I've built what I've built today. I got great employees, I got great partners as I call them. Um, we got a great brand that we stick by and uh, we, we offer top notch service. So we're based out of San Pedro, California. So we're about 20 miles south of uh, Los Angeles downtown. Uh, we're about 80 miles from you. Um, so that was still part of the service, right? So my thing was- 80 miles people. Yeah. 80 miles. One way, one way. <laughs> so my thing was is that as a business owner, gas and fuel and travel is a business expense. Mm -hmm. Most customers that call me and ask me, well, what do you charge for mobile service? There is no charge because it's a business expense. Why would I make you pay for my business right. to be successful? Our shop, we have a 3,000 square foot shop in San Pedro right off the 110 freeway, a channel right out the port of Los Angeles. Um, so our shop's fully, fully well equipped, just like your man cave here. Um, <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, man. I've seen some some garages, and you have a lot of walking room, and um, so we do everything there. Yeah, so <laughs> we do everything there. We do uh, high end cars, we do uh, motorcycles, we do. We actually have a hangar now at Zamperini Airfield in Torrance where we do jets. So customers will fly in from Burbank or Van Nuys. They'll come to our airport hangar, and then we'll do a ceramic coating or detailing, and then we'll they'll go be on their way. We've done his uh, 1956 Cessna, mm. and it was the old, old, old World War One, old, I don't that's, even know. That's interesting. You wouldn't think that people would want their planes yeah. ceramic coated. Well, this is a museum piece. That, that, so, yeah, that, that's but interesting. But you gotta think too, you got the fuel burn underneath, you have all the bugs, and yeah. sometimes you hit birds, You it makes it faster because the air goes over yeah it, it makes it more aerodynamic <laughs> and there are a lot of things that, you know with air, air, aerodynamics you have to figure out weight and so yes. ceramic coating is not much weight mm -hmm. um, you have more weight of build up waxes than you do with ceramic coating um, i do harleys um, and other motorcycles because i'm a rider like i i ride i like it i enjoy it i picked up my daughter yesterday she started school for the first day 
And so I pick her up from school on the bike and we go get ice cream. We go around the coast and I pick her up for ice cream and it's a ritual. So we're gonna do that. Important memories, man. Yeah, yeah, and I, I love it. She loves it. Our process is really, that's what really sells to my customers. I'm gonna do something for you. Agreed. That ceramic yeah. coating is gonna work for you rather than against you. Mm -hmm. And you know, the hit it and quit it, the quick washes, the basic wash, whatever the guys, the car wash guys, the mobile car wash, glorified detailers is what I call them. And um, you know, they're 40 bucks, but you have to call them every single time, all the time. They don't put any anything longevity because they want you to keep coming back. And my favorite, and the one thing that matters, is that it's manufactured in the United States. Yeah. I'm thankful I'm American. I'm not proudful to be American. I'm thankful um, because I could be born anywhere else. And I, I love our colors. So that made in USA goes a long way. Um, yeah, and that's real important to me, as you guys all know, because I am a veteran, 14 years, US Air Force and local businesses, family owned, yeah. USA based, you know, our products, our stuff is, is a huge thing that, that I'm a big supporter of and, and many people that I work with are too. The, the so. gentleman that I was working for, he had some bad neck problems, which is a trade issue. Um, mm -hmm. It's definitely a trade issue because you're like this the whole time. So you build this stress ball right between your shoulder blades. I go to the chiropractor two times a week. Just well, and you're a tall them. guy. Yeah, I and mean, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, how tall are you? Six five. Yeah. Okay, I'm five eleven and a little bit. Yeah. And I'm like looking up, talking to him. I mean, I actually told him one time I was like, "Yeah, but man, you're tall." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely doesn't help getting on my hands and knees. I bet. Yeah. Um, most people that follow us or follow my Instagram, Anthony Autospa, they kind of see a little mini me, and he goes by the name of Asian. Um, so he's my little short guy. <laughs> it's it's he patented the name, so it's not <laughs> racist. Um, he has patented it. Everybody asks, what's your name? We just call you Asian. He used to be half pint from the Goonies. Yes. And yes. then, because he looks just like or the short Goonies. short round. Yeah. yeah, short round, he looks yeah. just like him. <laughs> and um, so he's like Asian, so he likes it. He likes to be called that. Hey. And uh, it's a, it's- People call me Bugs. That was yeah. coined by I call my bugs. first subscriber. Yep. I call him yep. Bugs, just cause. Yeah. And um, so it's nice to be able to have him on a hand, like basically getting the little parts that a big giant can't get or doesn't want to get. Yeah. Um, so there, he's a great asset to the team. It, uh, it definitely is a nice bike. So is your Rocket, your, your Triumph. You. I'm a Thank big you. Triumph guy because of the bike shed down in LA. We detail for them. That's kind of grown on me. Mm -hmm. We've got a couple of friends that ride Triumphs and um, got a lot of clients that do Which I've been thing. invited to. Yeah, you're invited. Come see it. Check it <laughs> I'm out. I'm going to go. <laughs> bike Shed Moto Club. They're down in East LA. It's uh, off Industrial Boulevard. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. um, it's a venue where they have retail store stuff like clothing and gear and protective gear. They have Indians there. You can buy um, a Harley there. You can rent a Harley there. Um, they have a full-fledged restaurant, full-fledged bar, a tattoo parlor, a barber shop, hey. um, and a full-fledged restaurant, which is very good. Don't need the barber, but um, I might take you up on a tattoo parlor. They also, yeah, they do great work. Aaron, Aaron runs the, the, the tattoo shop. Uh, they call it the paint shop. <laughs> um, because they have a facility in London, they have a facility here. Nice. And uh, Dutch is a very good, very good friend, very good client, and uh, we love taking care of all those bikes. So we get to go on their little exclusive rides, exclusive tours. Like I went to uh, Arch Motorcycles, which is Keanu Reeves' business. Yes. Got to tour that. Got oh, to see the Ducati to bike. Oh, got to, to meet that. Keanu, and uh, we he is met. such a down-to-earth person. Oh, it I've is. Heard. It's amazing. He's totally different in person. Our ceramic coatings come with a nationwide third-party warranty company. So if you ride to Sturgis and you hit, since we ceramic coated your bike, if you hit acid rain and you hit uh, bird droppings or um, bug guts that stain like Florida, you kill bugs, those. you know. Love bugs will deteriorate the paint and the corrosion on your painted surface, whatever it is. Well, ceramic coating with OP, that's covered under warranty. So it's a simple 1-800 number, um, which you get in the mail when we send you your detail kit. Um, You'll get that three by five, three by seven index card mm -hmm. explaining what that warranty will do, what it will cover, um, the aggregate, what you need to do. Um, you don't do anything. I register it all for you. Um, when we get your vehicle, whether it's a pickup or whether we're mobile, we will do these things. Uh, number one is we will pre-soak your vehicle. Enough chemical to where we rinse it off so we're not moving it all around. Our Eco Wash is a great product for that. This bottle, 16 ounces, gives you 512 washes. So you only need one cap per, per gallon. But it's a great product. Everybody that's used it loves it. Um, Dan, which you had a meeting with him yesterday on, mm -hmm. the, on, the, on the live, he swears by it. 
Dan E. Williams is E is Eagle Wash. Uh, not really, but it, that's he's, what he did mention that. That's he's what he does. That. He loves to do that. And, you know, uh, what he's talking about is I did a podcast with Dan Williams yesterday uh, around all this, and it was a great experience. I'm really shocked they're finding me interesting enough to talk to me about it. But uh, it's in preparation for you know what we're doing today, yeah. and to get the insight for it. And uh, it was a great, great call, and uh, just he covered a lot of these things, which was just impressive. Everything about him. So, yeah. take me through the steps of what we're going to do here on the bikes, because you got two okay. of them. We got two of them, so that's going to be a lot of time, and it's already getting hot. Um, we're going to wash the car. We're going to wash the vehicle, right? So we're going to do all the cracks, the crevices. We'll take the bags off. We'll take the seats off. We'll take the fairings off. Anything that's mount dismountable, that's easy access, we're going to take it off. Just because we can get to the cracks and the crevices a whole lot more, we will wash it all. We'll do the rims. We'll do the wheel wells, the barrels underneath, the tops of the jugs, the cracks, the crevices, all of that. We'll get thoroughly wiped and thoroughly cleaned. We'll rinse it off. We'll, we will do a decon um, of iron. The decontamination of the iron is the iron calciums that build up from brake dust, from rail dust, engine vapors, anything harsh metals, we're gonna strip all that off. So when we spray this chemical, this chemical, and I'll show you, this chemical will turn purple if it's affected with iron. So we'll do that to bikes because there is a lot of vapor, there's a lot of oil going everywhere and there's it's especially on Harleys yeah and <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's a two-day-old car or yeah. a two-day-old bike or a two-year-old bike it's it's still gonna have the same amount of wear and tear um, then we will do a mineral decontamination so mineral decontamination we're gonna eliminate all the sodium the salts the sealants the waxes the buildup of compounds we're gonna strip that bike completely off of everything that the manufacturer or even the dealership have done even you so that way we get down to the actual little nubs of the of the clear coat because that's what we're naming for we're going to make that bike completely virgin like you will squeaky 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 it because it'll be so receptible after we do that we'll clay bar it so we'll do a clay bar decontamination eliminate any any abrasions it's a brand new, they're both brand new bikes you take very good care of them um so there i can't imagine it being a lot but nonetheless we are still remember we're still trying to clean that surface as best we can and then we'll rinse it all off and then we'll do a, a vacuum air blower. We don't use a, like a shot vac, we have an actual compressed, not compressed, but a vacuum blower that's eight horsepower that blows out. That's why we don't really have to tape down a bunch of the electric components. We don't have to tape down the exhaust and all of the other stuff. We have a blower that blows that water completely dry. So all the connectors will get blown dry. Everything will be completely dry, They're, like it will not be dripping. That's why my business is Anthony Auto Spa. When you go to the spa, you don't come out feeling all oily and greasy. Right. You feel clean. Refreshed. Yes. That's why we take the, the measures we do. Bikes do have feelings. They do. They do. Just just go kick it over and see if it'll start. <laughs> A lot <laughs> of things will hurt. happen if that yeah, happens. It'll, yeah. hurt. <laughs> it'll hurt for sure. Yeah. So we'll clay bar it, and then we'll rinse it all off, and then we'll dry it. Um, and then after we dry it, We'll move it into a controlled environment, whether it's a shade or whether it's your beautiful garage or my shop or whatever, even if it is in the direct element, it doesn't matter, we can still do it. We will do a polish. So with the ceramic coating package, we will do a gloss enhancement polish. It's a brand new bike. I can't imagine it needing anything crazy. Um, like a, you haven't touched it from what you told me. Um, as far Just as the, the normal down. cleaning products yeah. to degrease it, except for I didn't clean it from the, from the uh, uh, hide out in the heat. Yeah, which you didn't need to. You, you were already planning on me, so. Yeah, I'm gonna let them take um, care of it, yeah. Yeah, so we'll polish it. We'll eliminate all the little micro marring, the swirls, the scratches, the little things that we can get out. I do not recommend anybody that doesn't know how to polish it, don't do it. Well, don't you're here. Even, yep, try it. Call a professional because that's what they're, that's what they do. I've been doing this 15 years. They'll polish the whole, all of the fenders, the, I'm looking at the bike, that's why I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at the bike, so I'm going through the steps in my mind. Um, then after we polish it, we'll wipe off all of the polish. We'll do a paint prep. Paint prep uh, solution is basically denatured alcohol. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off all of that compound. The stuff that we didn't just buff off, we're gonna strip it all off, right? So we're gonna take all that off with paint prep and then we'll bring it in and then we'll lay our ceramic coating. Ceramic coating is it goes on all painted surfaces. Um, we like to put it on everything else. Um, but the warranty only covers the painted surface. So thanks for going over the process yeah. of what to expect You're and everything right. else. So we've got the bikes out. Yep. They're getting ready to wash them. And I'm going to watch them work. So ready cool. to get to it? Yeah, let's go. All right. Fired up, Asian. Let's go. <laughs>
the ceramic coating we did today was the OPX. Um, it's is, a little bottle. It is a little bottle, it's one ounce, um, but a little bit goes a long way because you, remember, you're, that whole thing is fully receptive to whatever you're gonna put on it. Um, so a little bit goes a long way and we work it in, it's self-leveling. Um, so we don't really have to worry about how the method is on as long as we hit the majority or get all of the services and the cracks and stuff. Put the ceramic coating on, this thing takes about three, three minutes. We've realized on gel coat, comes on wet, goes off wet. Um, hmm. And then we just kind of work it on. Work it in and then it takes about seven days for it to like form and malleable and, and still receptive. So that's why we don't recommend you washing it for seven days. Ride it, enjoy it, do what you gotta do. But after the seven days, then you can wash it with our eco wash system and our, our chemicals and stuff like that. Um, so really you don't have to do anything to maintain it. You don't have to check in with me. I can, I'll, I'll see you on rides, I'll see you around. I don't have to come back out here and maintain it because my work is done. It's right. gonna work for you rather than against you. Um, um, degreaser, don't use degreaser when you're detailing products. It's not a detail product. It is fun a fact, yeah. heavy duty, it's a mechanical product. It's there for degreasing engines and floors but not to touch paint with yeah that so, makes sense because that's for like heavy build up from correct. motors Which is and the, blocks the clean the clean yeah. is just this is the this is the perfect trio right here this is all you need to maintain any vehicle our eco wash solution which is a hydrator so you could do it in black paint in the middle of the sun our uh, all-purpose cleaner which is the op clean that's great for anything that you're working on it needs to be cleaned and then to top it all off to lock in that shine um, is our quick detail spray. It is just our carnival wax called Slick. It smells like peppermint or pickles, as my nephew calls it. Um, I don't understand. I don't get it. Um, Different senses, I yeah, guess, I right? Yeah, I guess so. But um, it's, it's a great detail spray. We have another spray that's uh, ceramic. It's pink, we call it the pink sauce. Um, it is a ceramic detail spray. So it has six to nine month coating in the spray. So that's what's included in our premium detail packages. And that's why when we pulled it out in the sun, we checked for high spots um, because there is little stop and goes that you're gonna get. Um, so if there does, even if it is after seven days, you notice a high spot, you come out here with a little bit of towel and eco wash and you just, it comes right off. Nice. Now is um, this what I would use similar to my sprays for cleaning after a ride? Yeah, you can keep this in your bag. Okay. Keep it in the bag if you want to. Um, it's ready to go. You just put our little sprayer in it. It's ready to so go. So there's no dilution for this no, one. No. These two there are. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Eco wash is, is great. You can put that in a 32 ounce spray bottle, one cap in the bottle, or in a 16 ounce. You can even have we owner's pride cells that are ready to use eco wash where you can keep both of those. Um, this is gonna cut down the bugs a whole lot better since you kill them. It's gonna help you get rid of your, your victims. Um, same thing with the quick detail spray. Yeah. Um, if you want, this this works too. This is our wax, it's gonna complement the coating. Um, our ceramic sealant does the same thing. Um, but I'm also gonna send you a detail kit that has our bug blaster, and that's for your truck. Cause, okay. You know, because you're not gonna need it on the ceramic coating bikes. Well, and my truck sits. I mean, I have bikes, right? So. You got several bikes. Yeah. My, <laughs> you guys all know what I have. But. Um, uh, my truck sits in my driveway. Yeah. So I mean, uh, you know, every few months I go get it waxed at you know a local car wash that does detailing and that kind of stuff because I yeah. want to protect that paint yeah. of just sitting there and I don't want it, you know, oxidizing or yeah. whatever. And you know, birds crap on it and yeah. trees drop on it and wind and rain and storms, right? So yeah. these things are kind of like the same thing for the bikes. Correct. that is that maintenance plan like you talked yeah. about with the cars and, and yeah. the clients for that because it's important, right? Yeah, we maintenance is key for sure. I mean, you have a five-year coating right now on your bikes, but you neglect it, you don't take care of it, you use wrong chemicals against that, you have just decreased the value or decreased the term of your maintenance, mm -hmm. of your longevity of the ceramic coating. Two things, the reason why ceramic coatings out there fail is number one is the process stinks. The, the detailer products, the detail products suck. The details, sorry, stink. Um, the detail we'll products are terrible. Okay. Um, the process is terrible. They don't have the multi-step process. But it's great because you know Harley-Davidson and Triumph, the two best lines out there, are gonna keep their value. Mm -hmm. Triumph guys are gonna look for that, that chrome finish. They're gonna look for the ceramic coating. They're gonna look for all that. And same thing with Harley-Davidson's. They're gonna look at that CBO and say, you did what to it? Boom, 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 boom. And a build list, and the next thing you know, you're winning bike shows. Yeah. And you're not even trying. But because you're doing the, the proper steps and partnering with these businesses like you have, 
it's it takes off from another 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 whole another view. Yeah, and partnerships are important. I mean, you know, I'm old school as you guys know. I don't sugarcoat anything. I do it as I do. If I make mistakes, we cover it, we yeah. fix it. Yeah. It's just the way that it is because you're in my garage and we're doing stuff and there's no, I'm not going to edit anything out. You know, I mean, other than like just stupid things that I right. probably do, but you know, we just do it like it is because that's what happens in the real world. Yeah. And that's important. So, um, yeah, there's no cover up with me. What you see is what you get. Yeah. 52 card faced up. Like I, I, I don't mind. I have customers who literally park up a bench right there and watch me work for hours on end and I'm fine with it. Hey, let's learn together. Let me show mm -hmm. you my process. Cause I want you to know that this is what your money is buying. You're not just buying a detailer. I, I mean, I, you're buying a product, you're buying a service. I understand that. But ultimately, I want you to go home in your bed at night and say, man, I'm so happy I got my bike ceramic coated. And the cool thing is too, is that Anthony Auto Spa goes even further than that. We have a lot of customers who protect their investments and circumstance happens. It happens to everybody. Mm -hmm. Now, somebody hits you, somebody hits, a, hits the truck or hits the car, it has to go to the body shop has to get repainted, re-clear coated. I personally do not charge. I don't know this is gonna suck for insurance, but um, for other people, <laughs> for other people's insurance, well, I don't charge to recode it. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I'm not gonna, why should you get dinged for an accident that may or may, may or may not have been your fault? It's, um, a, it's important, the work ethic and, and the honesty and the, just the the sheer professionalism yeah. it, it speaks volumes and that's one of the reasons why i agreed to go with you because yeah. i'm i'm picky yeah and that's what's so cool we did something not only did something for you we did our opx our opx is a self-healing coating and what that means is it's it's gonna the micro marring and the scratches that are gonna occur the the sun is heat activated it's gonna erase it there's a video on my instagram page uh anthony auto spa on instagram there's a video that talks about that shows you that owner's pride took a wire brush to a painted surface on the truck and like etched it. You see it clear as day. Took a heat gun, put it on there, the scratches went away. Oh, it's God. in, yeah, it makes everybody cringe. Like no way you're doing this. I would cry. Yeah. God, I would and cry. Uh, they did it to one of the, one of the employees trucks that, that that's there. And sure enough, you see them erase. It's, it's magic. It's crazy how much this is. And that's why we got talking about what to use, what product to use. Mm -hmm. um, I personally said, you know, if it was me, which I've done on my bike, um, I got a 23 Road Glide Special that's blacked out and we put the OPX on because of that reason. It's black, it's gonna get swirls, it's gonna give us scratches. You can look at it and it'll happen. Because the more times you polish, the more clear coat's coming off. With OPX, that's self-healing, it puts that barrier on there, it locks in that ceramic coating, it locks in that, that clear coat to where you have to significantly damage that clear coat, that ceramic, to get to the, the clear coat. It is the, the glossiest, I, in my opinion, we pulled it out in the sun and it was uh, yeah. automatic. That chrome is what, just What do you guys blinding. see? We, it's we're, blinding. We're, we're gonna take a walk and have yeah. them show it out, but it's it, gonna it, look it, good. Uh, it, it looks really good. It's gonna look really good. But we got it all assembled now. They're ready to go. They're ready for some bugs, man. I'm ready to give them some, so. Well, thank Sweet. you, sir, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Awesome, we'll go and do a yeah. quick tour around the bikes and Anthony will explain what he's done and all that. And then um, you guys can make your own decision, so. Yeah. We'll be right back. Cool. All right, so we finished it up. We brought them out to the sun and did our sun check. What do you think? Man, I, I got to say, uh, <laughs> they were shiny because they're newer bikes, but the depth of that color in the paint for the plat dark platinum and just how black the blacks are. I mean. Yeah, exactly. It, that's... It's just, let me see if I can get a good shot here because it's got a flake in it. And I can't really tell right now, we'll see. But it just stands out. And then if you look at the rocket, and you know, this thing's got a chrome tank. And we verified, it's not chrome paint. No, it's not chrome paint. It is a chrome tank. Yep. And just, if you look right here, you can see Anthony in the reflection as he's walking by. <laughs> How beautiful. What an excellent job. So from top to, from top to bottom, from beginning to end, uh, this whole bike has been fully detailed, fully decontaminated. 
uh, polished all of the fenders. We took the front fender off because we couldn't yep. get to it. We took the windshield off. We polished the headlights, The kind of eliminated a lot of the bug situation. And then we did the uh, rims inside of the barrel of the rims on both bikes. We took uh, the seat off. Um, just try to get as far as we can, we can, we can um, to give it that, that, that ultimate detail. It's all ready to go. It's showroom quality. The road glide's even amazing too, is that, you know, for black and being black acrylic or black plastic or trim. I mean, this is a, it's a pretty bike on its own. Yeah. I mean, let's just, let's just say what it, it is. is. I mean, it's a gorgeous machine, but man, I don't know if you guys can see this reflection coming off these bags, but man, it is so deep. Yep. And just so. I'm sure they'll see it in person. Yeah, well, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just, look at that. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. And as you guys saw from the videos uh, of them doing the job and this whole process that Anthony spoke of, this is not something that is a light effort. These guys drove 80 miles to get here and he wanted to start six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Because he likes to work. I want to start it early. Get it done. And they drove that far to my house to work on my bikes and do, and just, man, what an outstanding job. That level of service is unheard of in today's world. I'm sorry, I hate to say it, but it is. So if you guys need something done, here's the proof. I, I can't show any more of I need my glasses on. the work and what they do and the quality by any of that other than just showing, look at these bikes. You, you've sold me, absolutely sold me. Yeah, you'll, you'll love it too when you start to wash it and you start to see that water just bead right off. I mean, with a blower, it'll be almost no touch. You definitely get these bikes dirty. Yes. But by far, you have the cleanest bike. <laughs> no, yeah, absolutely, I can't, um, yeah, thank you. I You're just welcome. can't say anything else to it, so. Thank you. All right, so as we close out, is there any closing thoughts you want to mention about anything? I don't know, man. It's kind of hard. They, they speak for themselves. I mean, I appreciate the business. Appreciate you giving us a chance to, to wow you. And you your did bikes do that. officially got a spa day. Yes, they needed that. <laughs> yeah, they did. they did. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. An amazing job by Anthony Auto Spa LLC. And uh, again, can't tell you how happy I am, how pleased with the work and the effort. And most importantly, the care that they took with my bikes. These are new bikes. I mean, yeah. you, you look at them funny and I get twitchy. I had no worries. They were so professional, so caring, put everything down, cautious, slow, meticulous. I mean, just quality service. So definitely check them out. I'll have links in the description. We'll have his website. We'll have his uh, Instagram, as he already stated on the call or on the video. And uh, check them out, man. They're worth it. So like, subscribe. Any feedback and comments, you guys know I like them all. Uh, tell us what you think. Reach out, get some quotes, go figure out what's going on, what you wanna do with your bikes. Well worth investment, guarantee it. And thank you again, sir. I appreciate it, have a good one. Yes, sir. We'll catch you on the next one. Yep, thanks, Bugs. All right, see ya. See ya. <laughs> see my man titties. Yep. Oh. <laughs> cool, well, that's like a moo cow. So ours is the thickest, it's the durable, it's the durablest, is that a word? Most durable. Uh, most yeah. durable. There you go. Um,